Today we're going to take a look at my fully rigged out 2022 Old Town Kayaks Autopilot 120. Let's go. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Fishing with Gramps YouTube channel. My name is JT. If you're brand new to bass fishing or somebody coming back to it after a while away looking for some tips tricks reviews how to hey you come to the right spot let's take a look at the fully rigged autopilot 120 getting ready for our maiden voyage all right starting out at the front of the kayak notice we've got these little red button here on the other side i have a green motorized kayaks are considered boats therefore we have to have navigation lights and of course you can see it's stickered and numbered like a boat and yes it's even titled as a boat comes with our Minn Kota trolling motor built-in spot lock up front you see I've got a front camera mount then I've added this custom deck from Navar kayak fishing so I could center mount my Garmin fish finder I have a cover coming from TRC covers to cover those cables all up and kind of protect them from road travel one of the main highlights of this kayak is Garmin 93 S UHD fully live scope capable you see I've plugged the front scuppers with foam golf balls and then the scupper plug there kayak is going to be powered by Dakota lithium batteries I have one 100 amp hour battery for the trolling motor and back here in the rear power box a 54 amp hour providing plenty of juice from my pan optics for USB ports to run my cameras with live scope and kayaks you got to kind of come up with your own way of running the transducer I have what they call the Christine Fisher pole I will put a link in the description for all of this stuff if you're trying to set something up similar they come with this mount which I then mounted to an upside down ground yak attack fish finder mounted right there this way when I travel I can take this pole out strap it down in the floor of the kayak just like this lay it down and then I can take this on the yak attack mount stow it inside like this and I'm ready to travel or I can take it off and put it in the truck if I'm going to be traveling this will be easily removable I have the cable running through here I notched out a section to run the cable through I can always unscrew that from the black box it's down in the well and remove the pan optics the screen also comes off of its mount for safety storage I have a yak power power panel I'm not sure what they call them inside there's a box with five connectors that is powered by this connection on the outside that runs back to my battery box I have the primary power button one and two are the live scope one is the fish finder itself two is the black box that controls the pan optics transducer the bow mount is the front lights as you can see here and then the mid is the internal lights that I have rigged up in case I get caught out after dark or before sun comes up and I need some lights to see red is really good as the least attractant for bugs and it makes it easy to see inside of the kayak s is for stern and I still have one switch left which eventually and later on I will add the USB ports that I have here to power the back camera and also for recharging my cell phone just haven't got to it yet I finally got the battery and I wanted to get out and get the maiden voyage out of the way so I can test everything out coming back I have a yak gear crate I love the angle crates I can hold six rod rods in it nice and sturdy does everything I need there's the cover that goes over the top keep my tackle in there again my rear power box which powers up to the front powers all of the electronics coming out the side back here I have two USB ports that'll be back up for charging things when needed and then coming off the back I have a yak attack light this one's nice because it folds down for easy storage but again if I get caught before sun up or after sundown because hey in summertime we like fishing after dark got to have these nav lights for a boat so that's a 360 light and then with my front navigation lights keeps me completely legal for being in a motorized kayak also from Navar kayaks I have a rod replacement and what that does is allows you to move one of the rod tubes and put in this cover that's got a built-in gear track I like running my camera right behind me for easy reach on and off and all that good stuff then that's another great accessory from Navar fishing my transducer is mounted on a yak hobby mount it's a one-piece design that really allows you to tuck your transducer up underneath out of the way so it doesn't drag along anything yet still 
is completely wide open for down and side imaging. That is really, really nice. That was, I loved finding that, but it's a one piece design. And then the final piece, something I've never really needed with the Old Town kayaks before, but figured, hey, a lot of other people like them. They're a sponsor of GRBY. I figured I would give them a shot, reached out, and got me a kayak cushion. Got a nice letter from the owner telling me to enjoy my cush. I asked him if he'd like to be on the live stream one day, and he said, well, I've come on and talk about how kayak cushion its history and how it got started too. So big shout out to him and we'll have him on a future live stream. As you can see, I've got my yak resting on a wilderness systems cart. It's been good for me for all three of my old town kayaks. First, the Topwater 106, followed by the Sportsman PDL 106. We jumped off track for a piece of hot garbage found our way back into Old Town where we should have been the whole time. Why did I go with the 120 over the 136? Well, the 120 was the first that I could find and should do everything I needed to do. I'm still going to be pushing the maximum weight capacity on this thing, but I'm going to continue to lose weight. I'm just going to use light gear for now. I'm already down 20 pounds. I'm going to lose another 50 but this thing should carry me and my gear and all these batteries and all this good stuff here on my DIY trailer. All right, this has just been a quick walkthrough of my rigged out Autopilot 120. I will link everything that I used in this build down in the description below so you can find it and do it yourself. I didn't try to take the time to film everything along the process. The Autopilot 120s have been out for quite a few years now. They were the iCast 2020 winner. So, plenty of videos out there, but I wanted to show you how I was rigging out mine. Drop me a question, comment down below. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories. Oh, I can't wait to get started in this, one cast at a time. <laughs>